It looks like it's something out of a storybook, and that's not what I was going for at all. Welcome back to another drawing video. I'm excited to do this one because it's one that I made originally when I first started actually painting on canvas with actual paints. And because it was one of the first paintings I ever made, it admittedly wasn't that good. So I want to try and like recreate it digitally after having learned some little tips and tricks that I didn't know before. I'm hoping I can pull it off, so we'll see. And I am kind of changing it up because originally there was no like actual setting behind what I made. It was just kind of there. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my voice right now. I'm having one of those days where it's like I'm breathing but I'm constantly trying to catch my breath. I don't know what's up with that. I hope it goes away soon. I've tried taking the deep in through the nose, out through the mouth, breaths, but it hasn't helped. So here we are. I feel like I've been running for the entire day. So, you see me starting to make a moon. This is not the first time I've made a moon, and it's probably not going to be the, the last. I just love the look of a night sky in like paintings and stuff. <clears throat> and I love making stars. I don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to, because I really don't know why. But making stars and night skies is just really fun to me, so I'm gonna keep doing it when I feel like I want to do it. And that's where we are. So recently, for the past few years, since like the end of 2022, I've been struggling to read. And just recently I came across a duology that gave me my love for reading back, or got me out of a reading slump, or whatever. And that was the One Dark Window duology by Rachel Gillies, I think is how you say her last name. I cannot wait to read more from her because I loved the books. Were they particularly original? No, but they had an interesting magic system and handled magic in a way that I've never seen it before. But I'm not going to say too much about it because <clears throat> this is not a book review video. It's me talking about art. I just wanted to get that off my chest because I am so happy to be reading again. Because honestly, it was making me a little sad not being able to focus on anything I've been reading. <laughs> and I just started... Charlotte Bronte, Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, because I got it from a, my church's book sale. It's a heft, it's a brick of a book, but I hope it's good. I'm like 20 pages in already, but I'm excited. I have my love for reading back, and it's like, yes! The reading videos and these videos are my favorite to make because reading has been one of my favorite hobbies for literally as long as I can remember and then drawing is followed close after that so being able to like just sit down and do a drawing and then later talk about it like I do is so much fun and honestly I still think it's kind of cool to watch my process back and sometimes I'm sitting there like, oh, that could have looked better, or that could have looked better. Like, you know, you're always your own worst critic with your art. Like, something that you absolutely hate in your art. Someone would be like, oh, I love it. And you're like, really? You like that? I hate it. Because, <laughs> like, these mountains did not turn out I was expecting. I might go back and fix them in the other video, but I was drawing this for two hours, and I was just kind of done up to the point that I ended, so I just left the mountains as is. I might go back and fix it, it might turn out looking entirely different, but the mountains were just like a background function anyway. The main focus is going to be a tree. I'm not going to tell you what kind of tree, you'll have to wait and see for part two of this. I don't mean to split these videos up into multiple parts, just these videos take a lot longer than it seems like they do to make because this took me nearly two hours to do 
maybe longer because I put pauses on the, the recording just to make it a little easier during editing. Not that these are hard to edit, but it still takes me a long time to make these. Especially when I have to do like little grass details and stuff. But I love making these because I can just let my hand go. I can have an idea and I can bring that idea to life with some music in the background. Like right now as I'm talking, you can't hear it, but I have music playing in my headphones that I have blocked off from the recording. So I'm just sitting here chatting about what my process was while I'm listening to music. And you guys wouldn't even know I had music on. Like, this is just a fun process. And it's so much fun being able to watch myself draw these things back because I get to see like step by step how I did it. And someone told me once, someone who liked to cook, they were like, if you don't enjoy your own cooking, why would you expect other people to enjoy it? And it's the same with like any hobby. If you don't enjoy the art piece you made, why expect somebody else to make it? Or if you don't enjoy watching the videos you make, why then should you expect other people to enjoy them? That doesn't mean that everybody is going to enjoy them or like them. Everything creative is subje subjective? Subjective. Subjective. So, not everybody is going to like my art. And that's fine. There are art pieces I've made where it's like, no one deserves to get this because it's garbage. <laughs> like, I remember I was going through this past Christmas and be like, I need Christmas presents for people. And my friend was like, well, why don't you give them this one? And I'm like, why would I give anybody that painting? It sucks. Because I was so dis Like, I knew what I wanted to do with that painting, but I was so disappointed in how it came out. I was like, no one deserves that muddy mess of colors. Like, it's trash. Why would I give that to somebody? I only kept it to show the difference between the one I made first and the newer copy I made when I actually knew more about what I was doing. That's part of it too, is the journey. Sitting there watching yourself going from like barely possible art, because I am still new to digital, digital art. I don't expect myself to be like immaculately good at it right off the bat. I'm just letting myself go and do what I do. But it'll be fun to like watch as I get more experience and little more tips and tricks to see how much better my art gets. Does that mean it's going to improve super fast? No. But it's going to be fun to see the journey. And that's kind of why I named the playlist for the art stuff like I did, because it very much is a journey. You see it from drawing one to the final drawing when I decide to stop. Which I don't think I'm going to stop doing these videos anytime soon. Because like I said, art, reading, and jewelry making have been the three main hobbies that have stuck with me my entire life. Which is another reason that not being able to focus on what I was reading the past year kind of sucked <laughs> because it has been a hobby I've done my entire life and I felt like I was losing my love for a hobby that is kind of an escape. When life gets boring or when I get overwhelmed, I can dive into a story and be a stronger, better, more heroic person than I am in real life. I can go on all these adventures that no one could imagine just by opening the pages of a book. And that's what I tell people when they ask me why I read, or like why I like art. I get to put my feelings and my visions to page and watch them come to life. And with reading, I get to go to worlds anyone could imagine. The best thing about this part of the drawing so far is how the grass came out. I was not expecting it to come out like it did, but I'm really happy with the grass. It's the mountain in the sky, I'm kind of like, that didn't come out how I wanted. Like, the grass looks fine, and then you look at the mountains in the sky, and it's just like, they look like two drawings just grafted over each other. So you might see me in the next episode go back and fix it. Because I toiled with them for so long, and at this point I was just getting done with working on it, because like I said, this was a two hour long drawing. It just did not come out how I was expecting. I thought maybe if I darkened up the sky, that would help bring it together, and it kind of didn't. Adding some more stars. Again with the dots. I told you, art dots aren't going anywhere in my art anytime soon. They're a part of my art. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I tried messing with the hues and all of that. But for the most part, this is where it stays. And it's just not looking right to me. 
I think it's the lack of detail that bugs me, especially in the sky. It looks like it's something out of a storybook, and that's not what I was going for at all. Trying to add shadows, hoping that I'd save my mountain. That's the finished drawing.